Hey everybody, welcome back to Tuesday Night D&D. Uh, for those who are with us for the first time, welcome aboard. Great to have you on board. No one's professional, it's just a group of people that love D&D and we love shits and giggles. So if you love what you see in here, then punch that subscribe button, hit that like key. This is a work in progress. Um, we welcome all comments in the section below. And especially if you've got a fell beastie that you want to see murder the players, then by all means, um, mention it. Uh, who's to say I haven't already included fell beastie in an encounter already, but um, welcome aboard. And uh, without any further ado, let's dive in and uh, see what awaits our intrepid adventurers. As a recap, we've just finished that dark ritual fight and a very close fought fight. You know, two of you were knocked down, leaving only Pirate Steve and Morgane there. And due to Morgane's awesome arcane ability and Pirate Steve helping out, they managed to defeat the other cultists. You prevented the ritual from happening this time. And Pirate Steve uh, got you and uh, fought Mr. Foglis on Carrick back up with a healing potion each. And done a bit of looting, got a bit of coin, some other items, and that's where we ended it. Uh, it's probably about five-ish in the morning, the sun's coming over the horizon. Having spoken to um, Arthur Weller... And alleviated his fears. Yep, we shall re agree. return to town and speak to the town guard, see what they make of this and then perhaps visit the temple and see if they're happy to send someone to consecrate the lands. Yep, sure. Um, there's always guards at the, at the barracks, there's no problem yep, there. Yep, that um, sounds good. You rock up there and uh, the guard tells you um, straight out, uh, you're looking for Lieutenant Gorman, are you? Mm. If that's the case, uh, it's way too early. Yeah, Lieutenant mm. Gorman will still be in bed. Is it urgent? Well, we sent somebody to... Um, impart some information early this morning yes, regarding yes. events at uh, Weller Solstice. That's right. Has that eventuated or...? Uh, well, we did get a message from Mitchell's daughter, yes. That yeah. The heroes were heading over to Weller Solstice to yep. sort out some issues. Mm -hmm. uh, but in the grand scheme of things, um, you think about, and this is me talking, Dizzy talking, yeah. How many combat rounds you're in for? Yeah, not long. Not long. So oh. any response that they would have sure. been is probably still underway. So it's still a bit early. Yeah, what you're still saying. Still early, but you're back before we've sent anyone, which is a good sign. Yeah. Well, it was a pretty serious encounter. Nonetheless, you can tell Lieutenant Gorman that we've uh, we've dealt with it. What did you encounter? Well, it was a, a dark ritual. Some of you was trying to summon who knows what in the cemetery, and there was a a portal and strange chanting and there was a number of uh, little critters and, and quite a mighty wizard. Wow. We've, we've dispatched wow. all they, of them. Both the, both the guards were visibly shaken. Mm. They've never heard a story like this. Uh, oh, was so close to Ravensport yeah. too. Yeah. That is harrowing news, harrowing mm. news. I think it'd be good for you to be on high alert because while we have disrupted it, I do believe it. There is more nastiness afoot. This is not the head of the snake. No, definitely. Um, we will make sure that Lieutenant Gorman is made aware of right. your findings. Well, we'll be lurking around town because at the moment we're, we're exhausted. We're very battle weary. So yep. we won't be far yep. should you need us to clarify any understand. further yes. points. I can fully understand. Yeah, at the moment I, th I think we're pretty much kicking the dog. Yep. <laughs> kicking the dog. Poor yeah. Alright, no problem. One of them opens the gate and walks in, closes the gate, leaving the other guard there and he says, if there's nothing else, um, <clears throat> very well, off you go. Twenty minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> Three weeks <laughs> later. Yeah. No one's saying everything because everyone's eaten. It's mm. great. It's a moment. Oh, it's a silent see, moment. See Mistress Person. Yep, so mid-morning. Yeah, we head over to Ye Olde Shoppy, and you all walk in, and Mrs. Kirsten says, Oh, greetings, children, greetings. What have we done now? Mm. There's a dark ritual. Chicken. Dark ritual at um, 
well as solstice. Yes. We've interrupted the dark ritual. What sort of the ritual? Beast. A mm -hmm. dark one. I don't know. Uh, yes. I think they were trying to summon something <laughs> because it was a portal. Who was we? No, they were trying to summon something. There was a portal. <clears throat> yes, who, who were they? Who were they? Yeah. Uh, well, they had the mark of Skeksis. Oh no! Yes. Oh no! Oh yes. And they yeah. were, they weren't garden variety types. There was um, a wizard, and the chancellor was a wizard also, wasn't it? It was, it was certainly a, a fairly high level wizard. Well, I don't know. <laughs> don't look. Don't look to me for answers. So it looks like the agents of Skeksis are on the move now. Mm. Uh, I'm, I'm, well. I'm a bit surprised. Uh, things are in motion quicker than what I thought he would have been able to have organised. How much extra XP did we get? 350. But nevertheless, um, <clears throat> I'm sure it won't be too long before I hear from the Elven Council. So we'll be able to plan our next move then. But it, it's disheartening to hear that the cultists are already starting to move. Mm. activity starting to happen. <coughs> yeah, it is pretty distressing. <coughs> Look, the good news is that we stopped it for the moment. That's the good news, but yeah. who knows what else will spring up. Well, she says, how long has it been? Maybe two weeks? It's been Roughly a while. two weeks. We yeah, rest since, a lot. <coughs> since you released Skeksis from his eternal tomb. Mm. She looks at you disapprovingly still. Mm. Okay, sorry about that, Mr. Right. Kirsten. Yeah. Because it's been the talk of the town. Uh, something going on at the cemetery, and I'd rather not spread a panic, but I would welcome your silence on this until at least we've spoken with the council. On that note, we did. Awesome. We sent off um, uh, one of Mitchell's daughters yesterday morning to speak to the town guard regarding the matter. <coughs> and yep. when we came back, we also told, relayed a message to the town guard of what we oh. saw. All right, so we didn't we didn't mention the Marcus Skeksis. Well, that may be a saving grace. So um, yeah, and she looks said, at you sternly and says, "What did you tell them?" It said that we interrupted a dark ritual at Willis Solstice and dispatched those that were involved with it. And um, we we well, because Arthur Weller came to get us, we let him know that perhaps he might want to stay outside that area. Yeah, We've right, asked him okay. to secure the <coughs> cemetery. If your words are true, that is good. For if, if the town's people knew of what was really going on, it would just create such a panic <coughs> and an uproar. <laughs> well, in future, we'll speak to you first before we go jibber jabbering. Yeah. Yeah, we but did at least, um, hey, no one is aware of, of the Lord of Time being released from his eternal okay. prison, so that's a, a positive thing. Mm. All right. Well, hopefully, the rumours will. We can talk town for a few days and then settle down, but nonetheless, um, excellent. Excellent. Uh, but whilst you're here, mm. I have need of some herbs located in cool. the hills to the east of town. I got oh, to the west of town. Herbs. Yep. Yeah, herbs. No, that's American. <laughs> herbs. Located to the mm. west of town in, in the hills. What do they look like, Mistress Kirsten? Uh, it's like a moss or a lichen um, that's usually found that it likes old stonework. Mm. So usually on the sides of ruins, mm -hmm. you can find it uh, mm -hmm. e more easily. Were we to recover said items, what would be our benefit, if I may? Wow, you're, rooting me, you're trying to root her for some cash. Well, just, you know, roll a... Uh, well, do you want to intimidate? Do you want to persuade? Persuasion. Yep, cool. Um, 16? Yeah, no, good. Um, hmm. She says, no, well, I thought you'd do a small errand for me, surely. Oh, uh -huh. Happy to sure. do it. Happy to do it. Yeah. The, the, the boat with the new mm. supplies is due in any day now. I need to be here. I, mm. I can't be mm. dilly dallying around the hills. No, that's, that's more than reasonable. You've been very good to us, Mistress Kirsten. We'd be happy, and thank you again for your help in this matter because it's far beyond us. Oh, well, hopefully, the, the 
council representatives will have some more information for us. So I know we're all waiting on bated breath and quite anxiously as to what that information will be. Mm. True that. Well, thank you again. I bid you good day. Oh, don't you know? Oh, okay. Um, don't we know? So she gives you some general directions. Oh, yeah. So if you yep. head out of Ravensport and out the sort of north gate, out the top, and head down the roads for a bit, and then over east to the hills. Okay, so Ravensport. So we head to the north. We'll and then come we'll out the east gate. East gate? No, 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 sorry, I did say north, didn't I? Yes, yeah. yes. Head out the north gate, Go north. follow it down for a couple of miles, and then head east into the hills and look for some ruins. East in the hills, all yeah, right. Yeah, east in the hills. Okay, and look for some ruins. There's yeah. no other information that you could help us? No, it's it's a special type of lichen or moss. It usually grows on, on old stone. So we recognise it then when we saw it? Yeah, you can't miss it. She gives you a description. Mm. Does anyone have any uh, herbology skills or anything? Oh, any nature got... skills? Maybe that's a right way to find it. Plus three. Yeah, excellent. So maybe you may know it. She describes it to you. I mm. think you've got a good description of mm. it. So. <coughs> yeah, cool. All right. Well, thanks, thanks again. More than happy to help. Um, if you can, you know, she gives you a, a little pouch to put it in, mm. so you can store it in there. Yeah, cool. Yep. Okay. Right, Carrick, over to you. Hmm. Ma. Ah. Ma. Ah. Ma. Ma. <laughs> wow. <coughs> Well, can you hear a single song playing off in the distance? A song? Um, yeah, can you hear that? I can hear the song. Can you hear that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds nice. <coughs> Hello. I have a feeling I should go suss out what music is playing in this bush that this we're is watching. You checking out your character right now. This is oh, you well, okay. okay, well, okay, well. <coughs> I have unfortunate news, fellow group members. I have been summoned away, mm. and I must leave for an unexplained amount of time. For there are urgent family matters that must be attended. I do right. apologise for this sudden uh, up and Adam and leaving mm. and everything, but uh, you know, I have no choice. <coughs> I really don't. That's sad, mate. I'm sorry. Very I do true. hope that uh, as time goes on, you'll find someone to fulfil the role that I've been working so eloquently with you fabulous people to do. Mm. Well, you'll be missed, mate. You're welcome back to the party any time. Oh, thank you very much. It is much appreciated. You know where to find us at the Rat and Cheese. <coughs> All right, Steve asks, where are you going? Well, family have fallen ill, so I'll be heading back to the homeland. <coughs> And uh, back to the forest. Yeah. Back to the forest, you know. Uh, Adelaide, as I said, it's for an un unknown amount of time. Mm. You know, unfortunately, these things need to be tended to on a day-to-day -day basis. So, um, yes. Very sad, Harry. What are we going to do? We're a man down, see. I'm sure that someone will fill the void as time goes on. Do you think maybe we should go perhaps to Rat and Cheese and ask around and see if there's any <coughs> anyone that might want to join yes. our party? Because we're used to having four people. Yeah. Like Steve says by the calibre of the people you've seen frequent the Rat and Cheese, he seems mm. to think it's not a great idea. Well, he said, after mm. all, you picked me. Yeah. Well, we found you at the docks and you're a winner. So maybe we should go to the docks. Oh, you're a good friend, Mr. Fogg was 